I'll grind them into dust. What? More? How do you fare, my prince? He asks about my condition as we walk through the forest toward the wasteland. Well enough, I say as I glance in his direction. But shouldn't you stop and conduct some maintenance? This forest air can't be good for clockwork bodies like yours. All is in good order, my prince. Do not trouble yourself. I know he only says this because he worries about my illness. I stop our progress for a moment and turn to him. What if a fight finds us? We should check to be sure. He nods slowly before taking a seat. Then he powers down, causing the eyes behind his bandages to go dark. Found you. More of you come to die? What? More? I shall take care of them. More of you come to die? I shall take care of them. What? More?
It's so much easier to start a war than stop one. Once the fighting starts, violence leads to distrust, creating a vicious circle where peace seems impossible. This is why we are currently traveling from country to country, to create a third power which might mediate negotiations and find a way to lead us out of this bloody war. But my status and bloodline mean there are many who wish me ill. Thankfully, my companion has saved my life time and again. He is a clockwork man, and there is little I can offer him. The best I can do is assist in his maintenance. I shall take care of them. More of you come to die? Found you. More of you come to die? Found you. Yes. More of you come to die? in my chest. My body grows heavy. Sweat slicks my hair against my head. It's clear my illness plans to claim me, one way or the other. Stifling a cough, I retrieve a bottle from an inner pocket.
I snap off the seal and drink it down. It is the last of the medicine that holds my illness at bay. Once it wears off, I will know how bad my condition truly is. My breathing steadies. It is but a temporary reprieve, but it will do. Maintenance is almost finished. Found you. <laughs> I have no time for this. I'll grind him into dust. What? More? More of you come to die? I shall take care of them. Stop talking! What? More? I return the empty bottle to the same pocket I took it from, and wait for my guardian to wake up. He won't worry now, at least for a while. The medicine will see to that. I can't afford to show him my true pain. And besides, it's not like I'm going to get better. Suddenly, my companion wakes with a word. I'm operating well, he says. Thank you. 
Glad to hear it, I reply softly. Let's keep going. Yes, my prince. We have no time to waste, and no time to stop. That is why I decided to continue with the line. It's the right thing to do. I know it is. <laughs>